Well, the resist is one of the three key materials in making semiconductors that's under Japan's export curbs imposed on South Korea. Help is coming from an American company in this time of need. DuPont plans to produce advanced photoresist here in the nation. Kim hye zooms in on the developments. U.S.-based chemical company DuPont will invest 28 million U.S. dollars in South Korea to develop and produce advanced photoresists, a move that is expected to help reduce South Korea's reliance on Japan for the materials. South Korea's trade ministry said on Thursday that DuPont, which already has two existing factories under its Korean subsidiary in Cheonan, 90 kilometers south of Seoul, will use an advanced technique known as extreme ultraviolet to produce photoresists by 2021. The president of DuPont Electronics and Imaging, John Camp, said the company will work closely with Korean firms to test the products. Japan produces around 90 percent of the world's photoresists, which are used to make semiconductors. In July, Tokyo imposed expert curbs on three key materials, including photoresists, to South Korea, prompting local tech firms to diversify their supply chains. In December, Japan reversed the curbs on exports of photoresists, but restrictions on two other materials, fluorinated polyamides and etching gas, which are used to produce displays and chips, remain in place. Minister of Trade, Industry and Energy Song Yun-mo said, although Japan has recently eased export controls of photoresists, which is partial progress, it is not a fundamental solution. He added that the government will keep working to diversify its supply chain. The ministry added that DuPont's investment will also go towards the production of chemical mechanical planarization pads, which are polishing pads used during the semiconductor manufacturing process. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.